Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to High Media TV. I'm your host, Evan from High Media TV, and today, welcome back to Late Night News. We've got our top stories of the day and a uh, headline regarding, again, reporting on uh, Donald Trump's McDonald's crapshoot. Uh, but let's get into our headlines first. Family of five members was shot to death in a home outside Seattle. A judge rejects Republican move to restrict overseas voting in Michigan of American citizens. And Arnold Palmer's daughter calls Trump's remark about her father disrespectful. Moving on to our main story of the day. If you want to uh, see more in depth about the other headlines of, of today, check out our YouTube shorts feed. And if you want to read the articles yourselves, you can uh, uh, subscribe. Uh, uh, patrons and supporters get access to the archives on Discord. So, McDonald's workers roast Trump over insulting cosplay stunt and at restaurant that failed health inspection. He sported neither gloves, not as a hairnet, as he worked at a branch of the fast food chain in Pennsylvania. I'm not fucking surprised. Trump has basically called his Democratic opponent's summer stint at a McDonald's a lie, so he decided to try his hand at a fast food chain himself, shutting down a Bucks County restaurant to do so. First of all, if I remember correctly, the one Kamala Harris worked at wasn't shut down. It was just taking customers. While serving food through the drive through window and working the fry cooker, some pointed out he wasn't taking proper precautions at a location that had previously been cited for health code violations earlier this year. This location didn't meet the compliance requirements of the Bucks County Health Department. A health inspection in March at the Festival Travos location resulted in four violations, including citing employees for not having their hands clean and properly washed. The report also lacked a notice of hairnets. Food workers were not wearing hair restraints as required, which includes management that assists in packaging and preparing food. Employees shall wear hair restraints such as hats, and coverings or nets that are effectively designed and worn to keep their hair from contacting exposed food, clean equipment, utensils, and linens, and unwrapped single service and single use articles. This Sunday's photo shoot of the former president captured him in a white button down shirt, ketchup colored tie, and a blue apron with a yell with yellow stripes but without gloves or a hairnet while working in a, Do a McDonald's stop in the swing state. You know good and hell well that Trump was not gonna, like, even if they got him to wear the gloves, he was never gonna wear a fucking hairnet. The Independent has reached out to Bucks County Health Department and a representative for, for, for McDonald's for comment. Workers at the fast food chain shared their opinion on the Reddit thread r slash McDonald's employees and were quick to point out Trump did not seem to meet the chain's typical requirements. They asked, where's his approved uniform shirt, his hat? As evidenced by the other pictures, he's not wearing non-slip shoes and he isn't wearing a hairnet. Great, so he passed out bags of food for five minutes for a photo off. Well, let's see him actually take the responsibility of a full shift every day for a few years. Nah, nah, like, 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 let's be dead ass. Like, Trump would not be able to handle this level of intensity of work. He barks orders around at people all day and doesn't actually, ha and then doesn't have to deal with consequences of his failed actions because he just doesn't pay people. I'm not surprised. Uh, like, at least if I remember correctly, at least Kamala Harris like actually like worked at that bitch during a normal like work operations and shit. This motherfucker closed this shit down. They did some photo op shit. It's pathetic hey thanks for watching if you want to you want to talk to me outside of this video outside of live streams or just be a join the community and be a part of it you can do so at hibmedia.gg slash discord discord links there we'd love to have you and given the financial situation of the economy right now i know this is a tall ass but if you have the scratch to, to spare please consider donating and becoming a supporter at hibmedia.gg slash tip all of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boon to my mental health. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have a great day.